In the US, why are there a lot of overweight police officers? Typically recruits start out fit. Then as they age they eat poorly. Eating poorly and not keeping up the same training as a rookie would make the fatness appear. I was in a town once and a known criminal had been caught up by a local sheriff. I watched this guy shove a police officer down and then when he tried to run everyone in the street, swarmed that guy and stopped him. If he had been armed I doubt anyone would have run in but this was just mob mentality and sheriffs were very respected in this town. The younger ones aren't, but for a lot of them, they end up sitting all day as they get older so they're just like most people with sedentary jobs. They literally sit in the car all day. Not a whole lot of activity. They come in young and ripped. And they leave. Old with a beer belly. Shift work. Shit food. Sleep disruption. Riding in a car. Often a second job is needed. It's like that in my country too. Not just the US. My country has is the same. The standards for cops in the US are abysmal. Donuts. Poor eating habits. Sedentary lifestyle. The list goes on and on. Here in NYC, many police officers are fit. Most of the ones on the street are. Older ones with desk jobs definitely do not maintain the same level of fitness. But that's true in a lot of sedentary jobs. I would imagine because they spend either most of their time in the car or at a desk. I notice the more rural it gets the chunkier the popo become. Kind of representative of our nation's population sadly. IDK. My shift works out every day after work. I love my job and you simply won't make it if you choose to continue to gain more and more weight. The job is already hard on your body. Might as well not walk the line with a heart attack. I doubt you'll win. The police academy is actually pretty soft. Their physical requirements are really low. Most high school wrestling teams have harder practices than the academy's PT. I know this because I train BJJ and I have cops who are newer and not newer come in all the time. They're always out of shape and don't know how to fight at all. There are a lot of overweight officers because there's no consequences to being out of shape or bad. At their jobs. Also the police academies just disgustingly under-prepare officers for the work they're going to be. Doing. Not defending cops but as a former worker in an adjacent trade drove an installation truck for the phone company the job just forces bad eating habits on you. My tour started at 6.30 am. My personality is I simply don't like being rushed during my morning coffee. So I was up around 5 am which gave me time to putter about the house. Since coffee breaks are contract negotiated and since it's a chance to be social we met for second. Breakfast around 7 another cup of coffee. Bacon egg and cheese on a roll. Maybe fruit or a donut. Usually snacks for the day so we have a reason to break and procrastinate during the day. Unless you are disciplined enough to pack a lunch. You are eating whatever you can find on the road and can buy quickly. It's usually fast food not the healthiest of meals. There is no break room and microwave to report to. There are no bathrooms. More snacks because I usually work 24 hours of overtime. By the time I got home, I'm eating takeout with barely enough time to chill out before I repeat the process. Six days a week, unless there's a lot of work. The longest I've gone on this schedule was about 45 days in a row and then I'm beginning to show a lot of signs of stress seeing shadows, forgetting things. Car dependent infrastructure equals they stay in their cruiser all day usually. They may get hurt at some point and get put on a desk for a while in light duty and gain weight. There. 
Not every department enforces physical standards after a certain point. Long hours. Lots of sitting. Sporadic meal break timing. Stress. Lots of stress. IDK but it's probably why they shoot instead of chase. A. Your loyalty and blind allegiance to doing what you're told is priority over fitness. That and the fitness levels aren't that hard and or once you're in. You don't have to keep demonstrating you're in shape to keep your job. You pass. And you're in. Don't need to chase bad guys when you've got a gun. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.